Hi, I'm Laurie. And I'm Victoria from TTPM. And we are here to talk about Hasbro's Ms. Monopoly in this sponsored video. You've probably heard a lot about Ms. Monopoly. We sure have. Um, but we're here to talk to you about the background, about why Hasbro created this game, and really um, the, the reason for Ms. Monopoly to exist, especially for young girls today. So one of the statistics that Hasbro told us was that actually women hold only 10% of all patented patented inventions, which is not a lot. No, it's not. not a lot. And so yeah, something that is really cool is that you get to sort of learn about uh, all of the different uh, wide range of things that women have invented. So. Exactly. So in in this game, instead of buying properties, you're buying female invented products. And it really ranges the gamut from everyday things to scientific discoveries. Uh, and it's just kind of a way to inspire young entrepreneurs everywhere and celebrate these female inventions. Uh, we have the box right here and it's the tagline for it is uh, the first game where women make more than men, <laughs> which I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, it. <laughs> you know, there is a, a pay gap in real life, and so it sort of flips that on its head so that mm -hmm. people who are playing not as women uh, have to experience what it is like to be a woman in, in the workforce. Exactly, exactly. It's just kind of like a play on things. Um, yeah, some people might say that, oh, well, it's giving women an advantage in the game, they can't win without it, but it's, it's not, don't take it so seriously. It's just like a funny thing, again, <laughs> playing on that real world gender wage gap. Um, so yeah, we're actually going to play the game for you guys, and as we play, we'll talk about more of the differences of this game than the traditional Monopoly game, um, and I'm kind of excited to, uh, to check it out. Yeah, me too. All right, so we're kind of set up. Um, we've each chosen our game token. I have a white hat. And I've got a watch. Got a watch. Um, these are different, obviously, than the other tokens you're probably familiar with. There's also um, a journal, a glass, a plane, and a barbell. And if you open up the box, the first thing you'll see is explanations on why those were chosen. So for me, uh, the white hat, it says, Mr. Monopoly isn't the only one who can rock a top hat. And that white sure makes a statement. <laughs> I like it. And then for you. Mine has, don't don't you agree it's time for some change? And yes, I do agree. <laughs> it's a watch. I get it. You'll also notice that this gives you a brief glimpse or a brief explanation of all of the inventions that are here on the board and you can read more about them on the uh, property or invention cards as you play. Something else this notes, um, there's a fun fact for board game fans, Elizabeth Maggie, a writer, artist, inventor and feminist, was one of the pioneers of land grabbing games. Uh, in 1904 she received a patent for the Landlord's Game which was meant to educate people about the dangers of wealth concentration. So you have a woman to thank for uh, property owning games like Monopoly. Thanks Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we put our, our game piece on go as you do in regular Monopoly, but this one says here that you're gonna collect $240, Monopoly dollars, as you pass go, but if you're a man, you only collect 200. So that's the, that's the women making more money part of this game right there as you pass go. Um, what else is different? We've got our money. Uh, each player, if, if you're a man or a woman, you're going to start with different amounts of money. So we each get 1,900 Monopoly dollars. Um, men get $1,500. Mm. <laughs> uh, and you do have instructions, but basically it's the same kind of gameplay. Roll the dice, move around the board, buy and sell, inventions. Um, and you put these little headquarters down, not houses, it's headquarters, as you buy up your color sets. And um, I guess we'll just play. You want to roll first? Sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, seven. I've got seven. All right, so where does that put you? Sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're going to land oh, on a chance. Great. Okay. All right, so chance cards are still here, all right, but they're going to be a little bit different. So draw yes. your chance card. Here we go. All right. I have to pay daycare fees, so I've got to pay 50 Monopoly money. I don't know what the <laughs> how you trans, translate Monopoly money into real money, but that seems really, really cheap yeah. for daycare. That's a great price. I got a bargain. Yeah, so <laughs> even though you're paying money, you still win, I think. All right, I guess I'll be the banker. Give me your 50. Okay. All right, so I'm going to roll. And that's 11. 
Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, a home security system. Oh. All right, I think I might buy that. Let me find the property card for that one. The bright pink ones. And we can read that Marie Van Britten Brown, in 1966, her home security system included a camera designed to look through peepholes. Very Useful. interesting. That is very, and, and home security systems have come such a long way mm -hmm. since then, but it all started with this invention right here. So I'm gonna buy that for 140. Woo woo. <laughs> and all right, I'll get some change. Some change here. Okay, all right, your turn. All right, I have six plus three, I have nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, mm. a hairbrush. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious to read about that one. I don't know if I'm gonna one. buy it. But okay. I, I definitely take a look. Yeah. Know the backstory. I mean, it seems like it, it makes sense as an invention for women. Okay. All right. Lida Newman in 1898. Lida Newman was a hairdresser and a women's rights activist. The hairbrush she designed was the first to have synthetic bristles and slots that guided debris into a small compartment for better hygiene. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's interesting to know that it was there were hygienic reasons associated rather than exactly. just like I want to look good, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's an added benefit. Definitely. Yeah. So what do you think? Are you gonna buy it or no? Leave it? Oh, you're gonna pass. See what okay. else there is. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Space station batteries. Ooh, this should be interesting. I might have to get that. I don't know. I don't have much strategy sometimes when I play Monopoly. No. Just kind of like just buy stuff that yeah. I like. Um, so space station batteries invented by Olga Gonzalez Sanabria in 1988. She invented the International Space Station's original batteries, which powered the station when its solar cells didn't have access to sunlight. The ISS has since brought us many important medical advances. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll buy that for 200. Nice. Okay. All right, your turn. Okay, I have 10? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, windshield wipers. Those are very important. Yes. <laughs> I, I can't imagine, I will, I, I guess I can, but like to think how people used to drive without, because you couldn't drive in the rain. Yeah. Because you couldn't see. Guess what year these were invented? Um, <laughs> I want to say like not even last century, but... 1903. Wow. <laughs> so these were invented by Mary Anderson after noticing that drivers had to reach out of their cars to clear snow from their windshields while driving. Mary Anderson invented a lever operator, lever operated squeegee that could be used from inside a car. So it was created because of snow and yeah. not even rain. Yeah, those came in handy just a few yeah. days ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, I think I think I'm gonna go for these. Okay. So I Definitely. owe two hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. Do you wanna give me three hundred and I'll give you back? Yeah, that's better. Forty? Yeah. You said two sixty? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh, thank you. All right. Before I roll, I should also mention that Ms. Monopoly is the niece of Mr. Monopoly, and she is a self-made investment guru. That's what that's what the box says. One, two, three. Solar heating. All right, so this is a special, a special spot, and it's right here. It says this is one of the utilities, um, and it was invented by Maria Telkis in the 1940s, known as the Sun Queen. Maria was a biophysicist and chemist who also invented a solar oven and a solar water distilling system that could make seawater drinkable. Wow, that's interesting. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on the utility. Okay. Yeah, but that's really interesting to read about. Yeah, definitely. Okay. That's kind of the fun thing about the game is that you're learning about these inventions, even if you you know about them beforehand. Maybe you don't really know the backstory about them. So it's it's a little bit of a an educational yeah. lesson there too. <laughs> okay, ten. Oh, sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, another, another chance card. Okay, let's see. Sometimes the only answer to a bad day is a bowl of cookie dough. <laughs> Advanced to chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, that's not that's not false. No, it's. Not. I mean, <laughs> not too much of it, but yeah. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Does that yeah. mean you also have the opportunity to buy it? Good question. If you want. 
I mean, you're there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's, let's, let's read let's about it. it. I'll, you know, sometimes <laughs> you like to play House Rules with Monopoly, so, you know. Right, exactly. That's that's good. You can still customize the game yeah. to basically be what you want. Yeah. Okay. So, in 1930, Ruth Wakefield invented chocolate chip cookies by accident when the chocolate she used in her chocolate cookies didn't melt enough. Today, the global cookie market is a multi-billion dollar industry, and chocolate chip cookies are an icon. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. definitely true. Something yeah. I like about this is that it's got like really, you know, you've got like solar heating, which are really important inventions, and then you've got like fun things like <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. There's, there's a wide variety here yeah. of things that women invented. Definitely. Do, 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 do. Three. Okay. One, two, three. A bulletproof vest. And also, I just passed the go to jail um, space. You still have the jail spaces on here. So, you know, yeah. even if you're um, a rich entrepreneur, <laughs> you could still go to jail in this game. Okay, so bulletproof vest. Stephanie Quillick invented this in 1965. She was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for her development of the lightweight bullet and fireproof fiber that has been used to make bulletproof vests, firefighters' boots, military helmets, skis, and car brakes. Wow. Wow. I didn't know you could do all that with that with that fiber. No, that's a lot of uses. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll buy this one. So how much was that? That was three hundred. Okay, I'll have to get change. Alrighty. Okay. So, I mean, we've kind of played through the game a little bit. There are also um, some community chest cards that we haven't landed on yet, but you still have those spaces. So let's just take a look and see what one of those, what one of those says. Oh, here's a get out of jail free card. That's really important. Yeah. If you land in jail, let's take a look at this one. Ooh, you get a promotion. So it says to collect 150 Monopoly dollars. But if you're a man, you collect 100. So there we go again, yeah. bringing in that, that gender wage gap issue into the game, but in a fun way. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Um, so also something about the board, uh, there are no railroad spaces. There are rideshare spaces. So that brings it again into the modern day era. Um, anything else? I think there's free parking still. Um, yeah, the gameplay is pretty much the same as the other one. It's yeah, just... it's, it's really straightforward. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a twist on, you know, a game that is a classic and yeah, yeah, and um, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, and I, I, like, I like the idea of sharing it with younger girls just so they can kind of see some of these female-centric inventions and maybe be inspired as well to do, you know, something as simple as chocolate chip cookies or something as more advanced as space station batteries, you know, right. whatever, whatever you can invent. Um, so we hope that you enjoyed watching us play this game, and we encourage you to go out and play the game and experience it for yourself. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm going to roll again. <laughs>